Fern is a popular channel that is rapidly growing in popularity and no wonder why. It's generating millions of views every month and has over 1 million subscribers. Their videos consist of engaging 3D animations that keep the viewer watching and we will try to recreate one of them. SOTs are in almost every restaurant of the chain now. Even though their animations are made inside Blender, we will try to make them in After Effects. And all the elements used in this video, such as these 3D objects, can be found in the description. So inside Adobe After Effects, I'm going to import this floor first. And then let's import the human body object. And let's open Transform and here in Scale, set it to 0.7%. And let's also import the kiosk and let's open scale and set it to 107% for now. And let's also create a new null object, which will enable 3D layer 4, and then select all of these three layers and connect it to the null object. Let's see so far what we have. So I'm going to play with uh, X rotation to see what we have. And let's also decrease scale. So it is pretty small. So I'm going to move my human by using Y axis. So it is on this point here. And then let's change the position to minus 6,000. And let's also slightly increase Y so the feet don't touch the floor. And we can check it by using Z rotation or by using X rotation. You need to be in the align to see. So the feet go under. Then we are going to go back to the human and slightly increase Y axis like this. So the feet are not visible. And let's also change slightly for kiosk because it is visible like this. Then I'm going to go back to X rotation and 33 degrees. Or maybe let's do more. This is the first keyframe here. And we're going to create a position scale X, Y, and Z rotation keyframes. And later we will finish it off with the last keyframe. So for now, let's slightly scale a bit more. So to 6% is okay. And let's increase Y position value. And what we also need to do is change the Y rotation of our human. So I'm going to go back and here change the human rotation to minus 180 degrees so this is okay while we are here i'm also going to import this ui for our kiosk so this png file we are going to create a new mask and by adjusting the border of the mask we're going to remove the access parts then we're going to pre-compose this png layer and enable 3D layer and connect it to the null object. So let's see where it is positioned. So it's slightly behind. So I'm going to change the X axis slightly. So let's see if it's a bit forward. Okay, it's too much. Let's bring it back slightly. Okay, maybe a bit more to the back. Okay, this is perfect. Now let's go slightly forward then move y axis so for this composition i'm going to decrease the scale size to fit this kiosk screen so set it to 500 percent maybe a bit higher 700 let's move it back here and see if it fits it should fit so now uh, go back to the Y rotation, set it to zero, and then we're going to select this composition and adjust X axis and also Y axis. And let's see if it fits now. So I'm going to move the X, so just slightly a bit more. Now let's start with the animation. So X rotation will be around 40 degrees and let's zoom out a bit more to five or maybe let's 5.5 percent and let's add a bit of wire rotation so this is the starting point and at the six second mark 
I'm going to create another set of keyframes and we're going to add a bit more wire rotation like this. Now, if this human is smaller for you, we can go back to zero and zero and just increase it slightly to 0 0.75 or maybe 7.9. Bring this Y axis up like this. And then I'm going to copy these keyframes, paste them here and just change Y rotation to the starting point. Then select all of these keyframes, press F9 in order to turn them into easy ease and then create a new adjustment layer and place it below all of these layers except for the floor. And here we're going to type CC vignette and drag it on that adjustment layer and just slightly increase the amount like this. This is enough. Then create another adjustment layer and also bring it below all of these layers except for the tiles and type camera lens blur and drag it on that adjustment layer. Then select this ellipse tool and create this sort of shape like this and then select this inverted checkbox. And then here in mask, increase mask feather to 21 pixels is enough. Now to finish this animation, I'm going to add a slight different effect than in Fern's video, but you need to remember that their video is made in Blender and this is After Effects and you have limitations. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer and here in Effects and Presets, type Glow and drag it on that adjustment layer and just decrease Glow Radius to zero and Glow Intensity to 0 0.2 or maybe less, 0 0.1. And this Glow will slightly give a life to this animation. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and if you want to see more, please leave a comment what you want to see and until the next time, bye.